What up YouTube, this is Sneed from Sneed Mobile Tech, and this video is just to get the pulse of the people. I want to know your thoughts and opinions on the new up-and-coming iPhone 8. Now, before we get into the iPhone 8 speculation, rumors, and expectations, keep in mind that the iPhone 7S and 7S Plus are still going to be released this fall, and we expect them to be announced here in a couple of weeks, and then um, shipped and available for purchase um, about 10 or 12 days following that. So we're still getting the 7S and the 7S Plus, uh, but the iPhone 8 will be soon to follow, or iPhone X, whatever they call it, iPhone edition. Uh, and we're expecting that to be more premium, more exotic, more unique, and different from the 7S and the 7S Plus and all previous um, iPhone iterations. So with that in mind, the price point for the iPhone 8 or iPhone X, the special edition that's coming after the 7S and 7S Plus, we're expecting it to be at least $1,000 in terms of price point. Rumors have had it at $1,100, $1,200, even $1,400. But based on the Galaxy Note 8 price point of about $950 or $960 unlocked, we can expect something similar from the iPhone 8. It might be a little bit more, uh, give or take, depending on the storage options they have available and a couple of features. But what I want to know is, will you be willing to shell out the $1,000 for this iPhone 8? Or this new iPhone, this different edition of the iPhone. Uh, my opinion on it, I've never been willing to pay the premium prices for the iPhone. I just feel like the iterative nature of it, I've never felt the, uh, the need to buy the newest edition at the full price. I don't see the value, but that's just my opinion. But keep this in mind for those of you that would consider it. It's the new iPhone. It's going to have an updated processor. It's probably going to be waterproof. It's probably going to be ceramic in terms of its design instead of metal. So that might make it feel a little more premium. It might have wireless charging. Uh, it's going to have the lifestyle choices with the waterproofing. I'm not sure if I said that already. Uh, you know, it's not going to have a headphone jack. I doubt they'll go back to it after taking it away with all their courage and whatnot. Um, and you guys know how I feel about not having a headphone jack. Uh, and, and just... You know, it'll probably have a dual camera set up on the back. So it's going to have some nice features. Maybe, just maybe, iPhone might be courageous and give it wireless charging. That would be cool. And and it looks like they may. It might be a legitimate option. So if, if it has all those features, do you think that it's justified at $1,000? I'd say maybe a consumer might consider it, you know, if you think about all that. But just blindly purchasing it for that 1000 or 1100 whatever it may be. I want to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comment section below. If the iPhone is $1,000 or more, is it a serious consideration for your next phone? Would you buy it? And if not, tell me why. And if so, tell me why. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Give it a thumbs up if you want to support the channel. Also, give it a share. Subscribe to the channel to get all my newest content. And thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.